Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for February 5th through February 11th. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys for not begging for your reading. I really appreciate that. Um, really, I love it when people just be patient. Um, so this is for the sign of Scorpio. I have a plan. Okay, I'm, a, I'm the Queen of Pentacles, so I always have a plan of how I'm going to go along in my readings and what I'm going to do next, which sign I'm going to do next, like this time. I know which sign I'm going to do next, so thank you so much for just waiting for yours. I really appreciate that. I'm going to get a couple of Oracle cards, and we are going, then we will uh, go ahead with the Tarot deck. This is love, it's supposed to be. I'm going to label it a love reading. If it doesn't turn out to be a love reading, then so be it. Oh, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Makes sense, huh, Scorpio? Makes a lot of sense already. Now we're going to get another one. Oh, there it is. Huh. You see it? Peace. I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy. Let there be peace in chemistry. <laughs> right? Pentacles, security, abundance, stability, a happy home life, perhaps. Oh, no new opportunities coming in for some reason, as far as this card goes. This is the Ace of Pentacles reverse. It's like there's no new, new opportunity on the table as of yet. We have a major completion here. Uh, you've learned something really big, okay? There's a lot of success. Um, you guys could be scheduling some travel or thinking about traveling. <coughs> this is a very, it's a wonderful card. It's the last card in the deck. When you get this card, it means that you really, you can step over the finish line now. You, you've managed to, to come to some kind of success. Here we are letting go of something, letting go of a struggle perhaps, maybe um, because this is closing a door. So I feel like you guys are letting go of the past depression that you've been in. Uh, that's probably where this new beginning begins. It's like, you know what, the past is the past. I'm going to let the past go and I feel very abundant doing that. So I, I just really feel like the, the worst is over, okay? You guys are really following your intuition. Your your inner guide is speaking to you, and you're on high. I mean, as far as psychic abilities go, I feel like there's no secrets to be had with you, that you are the master. And, um, you know, if anybody has any secrets, they really aren't secrets because you know, okay? You know. Here we have uh, compromise, cooperation, working together. It's like... Uh, togetherness coming together with somebody but still still we're closing a door so we have a lot of closure here what is this nine nine okay there we have two nines and they're both reversed this is about a closure maybe there's a new beginning on your horizon because you closed a door and that's exactly what I think it is I think you have closed a door and now you have a, this major new beginning right in front of you you are starting to realize that there's something more for you. Finally, it's like, I realize. I realize that there's something more for me. I'm no longer going to concentrate on the losses in my life. It's time for me to be happy. I mean, that's what I see. I, I realize the truth. You're starting to have faith again, and I see new prospects for you. And another nine. I'll no, this is a seven. I get this one mixed up with the nine of wands all the time they look a lot alike if it comes up I'll show it to you they look very similar anyhow um, this right here is 
standing up for yourself. Okay, so that's exactly what you're doing. You're finally standing your ground. You're not, not going to let depression, you're not going to let defeat rule you. It's like, you know what, it's time for my major new beginning. I realize the truth. There's plenty of fish in the sea. There's plenty of options for me. You know, you're realizing the truth about love, something about love. And now things are moving very, very quickly for you. Okay, there's like a fast moving energy here. You're ready. I'm so ready for this new beginning. And that's what I see. There's a lot of readiness. And it's freaking amazing. I really feel like there is a new chemistry within you. Within you and another person. And it's almost like it's overwhelming. I'm not going to be stuck on the past. Whatever's happened in the past, we're going to let that go. We're going to have this new start. Because that's what I see. I see a new start, whether it's with you and somebody from your past or somebody new. There's like a new start, and it starts within you, okay? I'm going to make sure this is zoomed in before we go any further. You may be rejecting an offer as well. There could be an offer that's being rejected because of this Ace of Pentacles reversed. It could be there could have been a third party situation with this three of what is it, Pentacles? Yeah, three of Pentacles right here. There could have been a rejection of an offer, but um, but you I think that right now you're not looking back, you're not going backwards here. You're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And when I say you're not going backwards, you're not holding on to past grudges. That's what I mean. It's like, you know what? I'm not going to hold on to this. I'm going to let it go. I'm finally realizing the truth within my heart. Okay? And now you're definitely opening up. Okay? You are opening up. It could be, but I feel like... On one hand, you have somebody, there's been a lot of observation. There's, there's somebody that is watching you or stalking you or you're stalking them. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, a lot of looking back and forth, a lot of observation. Um, and I feel like there's, you've been waiting. You've been, being, being, been waiting for when you could actually invest. You've been waiting for the right time. I feel like... There's been, um, you've been, had some unrealistic goals or some unrealistic, um, what's the word for it? Assumptions of how this should go or how that should go or how this person should be. And now you've decided to realize that you were being unrealistic and that could be you maybe you were unrealistic in the past and now you are deciding to take back control of your life you're deciding to take the lead in your own life you're, you're deciding to bring the order back and get things organized to invest in yourself um, you could be dealing with the Aries as well I feel like there's been a lot of unhappiness that has made you realize this truth that I'm telling you about. You've been through a period of unhappiness and feeling like you've always had to have your guard up, always had to um, be defensive, and that's why you've decided, you know what, I have to let something go because I don't want to defend myself anymore. Many of you are deciding to put in the hard work that it needs. You're deciding that I have a lot to offer. And I want to offer it. Because you've been feeling ungrateful wherever you're at. This is why it happened. You've been feeling ungrateful. You don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't. I don't want to be alone. You know, so if in, in wherever you were at, whether you were with somebody or not, you may have been feeling alone. And now it's time for you to change that. Okay? It's time for you to start being grateful again. And that's what you're doing. I feel like, like you are. I think you're letting the past go and investing more time in yourself. Going through a period of healing, perhaps. 
maybe you are deciding to make some compromises and you're deciding to cooperate we have that with that three of pentacles down there way underneath there is cooperation and compromise as well and again with this one you know everything happens for a reason I feel like there was some unrealistic demands or unrealistic views or unrealism here that now you've come to your senses and because of the unhappiness that you've been through you're deciding okay I'm gonna have to concede a little bit here so I feel like you concede a little bit and things start to get better for you maybe you guys are deciding to let something go I, th I honestly believe there's a choice between two people here underneath with that three of Pentacles I do I think that you have to let one go to be happy with the other one and there's been a lot of unhappiness in your life okay and you may have been burying this unhappiness um, and not not accepting it you know this is the fake it till you make it card so you guys have been faking something and you come to the point where I can't fake it anymore I have to stand up I have to stand up for myself I have to it's time I feel and there you are I feel like you guys have so much love and compassion within you and it's just waiting to come out all right I feel like you have the best of intentions and you always have I've always had the best of intentions here. But now, now you it's time to see the light and you're seeing the light. I see the light. I've been unhappy. This didn't work out and I can't fake it anymore. There's been some unhappiness that has been pushed down. And now it's time to let go with this Ten of Wands reverse. It's like, I need to free myself. I do. It's time for me to make this conscious change that brings me what I desire, which brings me the true love. And it is definitely decision time. You have options here. You, you know, be careful what you own because what you own owns you. And you guys have heard me say this before. That's the meaning of this card. Okay. It's all about your decision. It's about the consequences of your decisions. If you're unhappy, that's your decision. If you want to be happy, that's your decision too. This card is about making a decision and living with the consequences of your decision. Right next to the cards that it's next to, many of you have to let something go or you have let something go so that you could be happy. You are dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or another uh, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You also have Leo here connected to this other person. And you have an Aquarius, okay? So we have, we have several different options. Could be any sign. But this card is options. Options. That's what this card means, okay? You have lots of options here. And it is going to take strength confidence, courage, and willpower, and discipline to make the cho choice that you need to make. I feel like there's a lot of observation going on between, you have a lot of people in your life going back and forth, a lot of observation. Here's the observation. People, 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 people. I mean, there's a lot of people here, okay? Of a lot of looking back and forth. What do I want? What do I want? And you're being called to master your emotions, and do the right thing okay you do have to do the right thing here it feels as though you're going through a lot of conflicts you're going through a lot of power struggles within your mind and it's time to make a decision and somebody could get hurt out of this decision okay this reminds me of the seven of swords it's the five of swords but if you look at the person in the background when you speak your truth or do the right thing somebody is probably going to get hurt But right now, you're not following your own path, okay? You're not following your own path. You're not doing the right thing for yourself. You're blocking. You're blocking by not... standing up for yourself. Many of you have already, and I can see that. There's two different stories here. Many of you have stood up for yourself. But many of you have not because there's lack of wish fulfillment. There's lack of wish fulfillment here. Okay? So many of you are blocking something. 
and you're not feeling loved. You're not feeling loved for some reason. You're blocking it, and I'm not sure why. No second chances here. There's there's no awakening of some sort. This is the judgment card. There's no rebirth. Not You're not able to shed the past. This is not shedding the past. You're not able to let go of the past. I think there's somebody here that you want to be with, and I'm sorry for the cross watchers that are watching this. I feel like there's somebody that Scorpio wants to be with, but they're stuck with somebody else, and I'm just telling you what I see. And you don't have to like me. And I feel like you Scorpios are ready to put in the hard work. You're starting to see the truth. You've learned a big lesson. You know what you need to do. And you're ready to let go of a grudge. You're ready to let go of your unrealistic expectations of this person. Because there's a lot of chemistry and you just want peace. And, you know, it's time to have no fear, Scorpio. It's time to make a decision. What do you want? It's in your hands. You have two choices, and that's the truth. What do you want? What do you want, Scorpio? You have, you're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads. What, which, which way are you going to go? It's up to you. You have a doorway that is open, a new one. What are you going to do? It's definitely decision-making time, okay, with these twos. It's time to make a decision. It's also about change, and you do have two choices. I feel like you have a lot of passion inside of you, and you just, you need to, you're being called to act on your hunches. You have this exciting new feeling where you ha are you basically do you accept this or not do you accept this dare it's like this, it's a dare do i dare to do this again do i dare to communicate because this eight of wands is under here do you dare have no fear accept the dare because it's love it's love there's messages of love here Another two. Now we have these three twos and they're right next to each other. Twos are about choices, decisions, duality, partnership, balance, boundaries, foundations, faith and trust. You have a choice between two paths. Which way are you going to go? In one arena... There's a lot of chemistry. A lot. So this is regarding a partnership. Twos are mainly about partnerships. You have to make a decision. Can you get over the past? Are you ready to go down a new road? Are you ready to make a decision? You've been procrastinating? You've been pretending, you've been ignoring, and now you've reached the fork in the road, and it's time to make a decision. Change is on the horizon, and the decision is in your hands, Scorpio. Many of you are closing a door and a new door is opening if you have faith and trust. There's a lot of chemistry. And you don't need to carry that negative energy around with you. 
it's time to follow your heart and when you follow your heart you will be at peace instead of just observing it's time to make a decision it's decision which one do you want it's time to stand up stop hanging around and waiting for nothing to happen stand up for your peace and the chemistry that you feel inside The time is now. Eights. The time is now. Now. Go ahead. So Scorpio, that is what I have for you. Talk to you next time.